toward that. Okay, well, of course, David, he just wowed the judges last night. And it started off with his first song, Elton John's Don't Let the Sun Go Down. Yeah, and the judge who's not long on compliments had some praise for David, so take a listen. It's very easy to get overexcited tonight. Uh, David, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought last week you were okay. I thought tonight's performance was arguably the best you've done so far. Whenever he says, if I'm being honest, I think, <laughs> here comes a slam, you know, but he actually gave him a nice compliment. Yeah, there. it worked out last night. Of course, they duped it out on the stage. It was their last chance to wow the millions of viewers watching American Idol. Yeah, and guess who we have this morning? We've got David Archuleta's voice coach, Dean Kalen, in with us. And what a performance last night. I mean, three serious knockouts. Those songs were just amazing. Well, unlike the week before, we were thrilled with the song choices this time. Um, yeah. I've heard about Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me last week when I was down in L.A., and we actually started working on it then, and I, I, I was thrilled. And I think that was a great song for him, and all three songs I thought worked out beautifully. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been talking about strategies all morning, whether David Cook held back a little bit. Now I want to ask you about David Archuleta. Did he kind of hold back in the previous week so that leading up to the finale he could have some huge night? The idea of strategy doesn't come into David's mind at all. In fact, his dad has tried to talk strategy with him, and every time he tries to talk about it, David leaves the room. He doesn't want to talk about competition or strategy. He just wants to sing well. So every week he has sung his best, and it, that's been his biggest goal. But obviously last night he was ultra-focused. I mean, after he sang Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, I almost thought he was going to pass out. He looked like he was so exhausted. <laughs> he, he was breathing he, through his nose like he's going to hyperventilate or he something. He exerted <laughs> yeah. every ounce of energy into that song. I mean, he totally threw himself into the song, and, that's, and every song, it was just... You could just tell his focus and intensity was great. His voice sounded great. And, and it was interesting when he sang Imagine because you can tell how much his voice has matured over the course of the show. And I think that was a great choice. And we talked a lot about that. Should we do a familiar song? And I got tons of emails from his fans recommending he should do this, he should do this. Really? And, and so we talked back and forth with David's dad and David and he, you know, should we do a new one? Do we want to go back and revisit something? And obviously revisiting something that was a crowd favorite was obviously the right choice because David Cook didn't do that. And his number was a great number, but didn't go over nearly so well. I know that whenever I've performed and other people perform, even if they're tired of their old song, you know, James Taylor always has to do You've Got a Friend. Mm -hmm. He can't get out of the building until he does that. And I'm sure he may be sick of singing the song, but people love to hear it. And I think David made the right choice in choosing that song. That makes yeah. sense. Now, now, have you seen this in David's personality in the past where he really just steps it up for something really big? <laughs> I have a certain amount of students that do that. They actually perform better on stage in front of an audience than they do in rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And it's only a handful of them. Uh, most people perform much better in rehearsal because then they get too nervous on stage. But David has always written, has risen to the occasion. But I've never seen him rise to the occasion like he did last night. He was so intense, so focused, so determined, and just... It was, it was really fun to watch that. It was exciting to watch that. It was exciting to watch that. So what do you think? Does he have it in the bag? Did he win? You know, actually, if you had asked me yesterday, I would have said everything was going towards David Cook. But, boy, after, night, after last night, I think, in fact, over the last three weeks, I think the momentum swung back to David Archuleta. And it, he has a lot of really dedicated fans. I would almost at this point be surprised if he didn't win. But it depends. I think, you know, it is a popularity contest, and David Cook has a lot of dedicated fans as well. So I think it's still up in the air. But I, I, if I had to make a bet today, I'd probably say that David Archuleta won it for himself last night. He really nailed it. Now, really quickly, he didn't really get to rest on his laurels last night. I mean, he had to go right into rehearsals, didn't he? he every show. It's like, even when I was down there last week, we wanted to go out to dinner. And I actually went out to dinner with his dad. But David was in rehearsal for two hours. So as soon as the show's over, it's like, okay, so right into rehearsal and let's get ready for tomorrow night. So yeah, no rest. Okay, and that's, that's tonight, the results show, big two-hour special. Dean, thanks so much for oh, coming. Coming in. It's been great yeah, talking to you. Thank you very much.